Hi you all, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'll make a short vlog to update you guys about what I do in my sewing business and how it has been going. Uh, so basically my clients are all over US, they ship their fabrics and their measurements to me. Uh, this is one of the packages I received today. This is a heavy package, I'm pretty sure it has like around 10 blouses or 8 blouses in it for me to sew. This package has come from Texas. Uh, this client of mine, she's, this is the third or fourth package that she sent me. And I've made all the blouses for her and it has worked out well. That's the reason why she sends me again and again. So she's happy. I'm going to open that package and show you how, what she sent and how I operate this whole business. Apart from uh, clients sending me uh, fabrics and sewing, uh, me sewing them, I also do some of uh, sewing for myself. Uh, recently, I've been trying a lot to work with knit fabrics or jersey fabrics and uh, I went to Walmart, I picked some uh, cut out fabrics, remnants, and I got four bundles and uh, I made three out of them. They were dirt cheap prices, they were like three yards for four dollars. I'm going to wear and show them to you, but this is the pattern for it. I made a um, cowl neck and all of them are cowl neck dresses and I really love them. The fall is really good. The fitting is very good. I'm left with just one more fabric. That's a sari. This is a blouse. These are some blouses that she wants me to make fitted. I think they're loose for her. They're, those are like four blouses. That's the fifth blouse. Oh my god. This lady wears a lot of saris. And these, this is another, oh these are all blouses to be fitted. There are like seven, eight blouses there. And then I have like four blouses to make a fresh so th that's the kind of work that i get from clients they want me to do some alterations they want me to make a fall of the sari the sides of the saris and they want me to make some blouses i don't wear these with blue jeggings i usually wear these with a skin color legging this is more like a fleece pant and I love this one because this color looks good on me better than the other colors. This is a light shade, beige color. And even my dentist office people said that this, this dress looks nice on me color wise. So yeah, this, this has a little less fall in the cow neck. This was the first make. I made this two inches shoulder wise. And a little deeper so I don't bend anymore in this dress. All of these dresses need to be tapered a little bit here. I thought once I wash it, it's going to shrink. Didn't do much of shrinking. So yeah, I need to work a little bit more, a little half inch inner from here. And it has like quart, three fourth inch, uh, three fourth length, elbow length sleeves. And yeah, I love this one. I don't wear it with a blue jegging. I wear it with the black jegging, but I'm not changing it right now for this video because it's quite late in the evening. It's 6 o'clock. Okay. This is the latest one that I made. I don't wear this with blue jeggings. I wear it with the black jegging, but I feel like I need to be a little looser here. Sometimes I over it, which is most of the time, and the tummy comes out. So, yeah. I like this one too. It's very nice. I, I love these dresses. I love cowl neck. I never thought it was so easy to make cowl neck and now I just, it's like just a go-to pattern for me. And the neck, I don't even have to like make a complicated neck binding and all that. I just fold it and hem it. So easy. There is no fabric that I haven't stored yet. Where did I keep it? Here. This is the fabric. That is left, left over. I bought four. Three are made. So this grey colour one I will make in the same pattern. And probably I will wear it with the black legging again. So thank 
you guys so much for watching i hope you come back and watch my videos and yeah i've been on youtube for long now but not so much progress thank you bye